Hey, Fantasy Points subscribers, Ben Kukanis here from FantasyPoints.com. I'm here with another tutorial video and suggestions on how to get the absolute most from FantasyPoints.com. Now that the season is underway, our Discord community chat has been growing and growing and getting better every single day. If you're not sure what Discord is, well, for our purposes, it's your direct line to the entire Fantasy Points staff, myself included, other subscribers, and quicker access to support tickets. It's also where we host giveaways, games, and a place to rep your favorite team. All of that is great, but we're continually increasing our capabilities to get you the information you need as soon as possible. Find out exactly when projections are posted or updated, get notified when a show is posted or goes live, whenever an article is posted, instant news and analysis from Joe Dolan and Dr. Edwin Porras, and a lot more. So if you're a Fantasy Point subscriber and you haven't joined Discord yet, you're missing out. You really are. We have everything covered in there. And if you haven't subscribed yet for the 2022 season, go ahead and use promo code CUCANUS22 for 10% off any package or upgrade. And even if you're already in Discord, I want to point out a few things that might be helpful moving forward. All right, so um, you can get some more information or just something super quick uh, elsewhere on the site. Um, if you head to media, the media drop down, um, and this can be on the homepage, the NFL page, college football, PGA. Uh, and if you head over to media drop down and Discord chat, there's a lot of quick instructions there. Um, but if you want to something in a little bit more detail, just uh, follow along here. What you're going to do is head over to my account you're going to be retrieving your invite code. Now, in the past, our Discord was only open to premium NFL subscribers. We have opened it up to everyone, literally any type of subscriber. So whether you just have the DFS optimizer, whether you're a standard or a premium NFL subscriber, PGA or college football subscriber, um, you can go ahead and join. Depending on your sport and your level of subscription, we'll grant you access to different areas, different parts of the Discord server. So over here in my account, I'm going to go ahead and click on the little chat tab here. And it's going to give me the option to claim my in, uh, unique invite code. So I'm going to go ahead and click claim here. A few instructions here, but what we're really focusing on is uh, this invite code, this unique invite code. Um, it's a unique one-time code only for you to use as it states the code is only valid for 10 minutes. So if you wait longer than that, or if you need to come back, you'll just have to claim a new code. Uh, keep this on handy when first joining um, so you can connect your account. We're gonna go ahead and open up Discord on a desktop um, or mobile app. Um, for our purposes, for my purposes, I'm opening it up on a browser. Um, just so I can start from scratch since I'm auto logged in on the app. But again, you can do this on mobile, you can do this on desktop. Once you have claimed your code, you can go ahead and copy that. We're going to add the Fantasy Point subscriber server. I'm going to click this add a server button right here. And I'm going to click join a server because you have an invite already. That's going to basically ask you for the link. Go ahead and put that in there and I'm gonna join the server. And I'm gonna confirm that I'm human by clicking images with a toy rabbit. Oh, a toy rabbit shows how much I was paying attention. All right, and uh, now, uh, now we're in. Um, first two items on the docket is agreeing to the rules. Uh, and checking your direct message for more instructions. Now, I believe uh, before, so what I'm going to do here is uh, before you can talk or send any kind of messages, I'm going to go ahead and complete this. I'm going to agree to the rules. Um, read them carefully, but pretty self-explanatory. I'm going to agree to the rules here. Also, go ahead and check your direct messages from our bot um, that just gives you a little bit more, a uh, little bit more instructions on how to get verified, uh, everything like that. But um, we'll we'll go through that step by step right now. So once you're in Discord, you'll only see, and once you're in the server and have agreed to the rules, you're only going to see a few sections visible, notably information, support, 
And general, if you'll only see general, um, if you have your email verified with Discord, you know, they'll just send you a link to make sure uh, it's you. Um, so you'll only see those three sections, but please go ahead and head over to the welcome channel. Um, the welcome section includes detailed instructions on how to connect your fantasy point, uh, fantasy points account with your discord and how to verify your subscription sport and level. Definitely give this a comprehensive look once you're in. Um, but here's how to quickly get verified. And I'm just going to follow some of these simple instructions. I'm going to head over to the verify channel. And when you're in here, you can do one of two things. You can verify by your email or verify by the invite code and your email. The former is a quick way, but if that doesn't work, the latter is the surefire way. So what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to type in the command slash FPTS identify and sort of filling it, filling it in. Once I click space, it's going to ask for the code and the email. So go ahead, put the code in there. And I'm going to put in the email associated with the, uh, associated with the account. Once I click enter, your account is being identified and verified. If successful, your roles will be updated. Um, it will, the bot will let you know um, if, the bot, uh, bot will let you know if you did something wrong. But if you notice, my account now, you can't, you can sort of see it. My uh, name uh, here is now red. Um, I have the NFL premium, uh, NFL standard and college football subscription as well. So when I click on my name, you know, it, it, it always defaults to uh, the NFL color, but if you just click on your name, you can just verify and make sure that you have all the appropriate roles. So now that I've verified my account, I'm ready to jump in and explore the different areas. Since I verified and I have a NFL premium and um, college football account, I can now see all these other areas, an NFL premium area, a uh, season long area, and a college football area as well. If you're a PGA subscriber and you verify your account, you will also see a golf section opened up uh, as well. Um, but definitely, again, go back to welcome and announcements um, so you can do a number of different things, but I wanna go through everything uh, just a little bit one by one. Again, the welcome channel contains uh, all the information you need, color codes, summary of all the different channels, which we'll go which we'll go through. Um, I also recently just posted our in-season live stream, live stream schedule, especially since we have the NFL, college football, and uh, PGA crossover as well. Things getting pretty hectic. One fun thing to do right off the bat is to just choose your team. Um, so all you have to do really is, don't worry about uh, the people messaging there. All you got to do is react with the emoji. Um, I will uh, try and rep my uh, Rutgers brand here and I'm gonna we don't have all the NCA logos yet but I'm gonna go ahead and click Big Ten and so <clears throat> when I go somewhere to chat um, what I'm gonna do is uh, let me go over I'm now given the Big Ten role and when you go chat you'll see the little logo um, next to your name just something sort of cool uh, announcements. The announcement section is exactly what it sounds like. Um, any b major or small announcements. Um, I do my best to tag everyone when possible so that you will get notified. No matter what channel you're viewing, you can always change your notification settings up here. Um, if you want to mute the channel completely, if you want to get notified for all messages, if you only want to get notified when someone mentions you. So, by default, there are no, I think by default, the only notification you get is when you're tagged or when you're mentioned. But if you want to mute a channel um, or if you want to mute the whole server, that's fine. But again, we have so much connected to our Discord server. I highly recommend you set notifications for a lot of different channels. For instance, our articles channel, whenever an article is posted or updated, you will see um, whenever projections are posted or updated, whether that be season projections or weekly project uh, weekly projections, um, you'll get notified as well. News, we have our news feed tied directly into that with, like I said, instant analysis from Joe Dolan. Um, 
as you can see, we get pretty busy. Um, and here is Joe. Reminder, if you turn on notifications, you'll get blurbs just pushed right to your device. So I know some people have complained or asked about a Fantasy Points app itself. If you're in here and you set your notifications, you're going to get just as much uh, information. So that's our news channel. Um, we have our news tweets linked up to a lot of different writers like Tom Palacero, Adam Schefter, just in case you're not on Twitter um, and you sort of want a little bit more immediate information. Our FP Tweets channel is linked up to our Fantasy Points uh, Twitter. Live streams are uh, connected to whenever a show is posted or whenever a show goes live. And our media group channel uh, lets you know whenever one of our media group members goes live as well. So don't have to miss a show, a live show, viewing, anything like that. Down here in uh, the support section, we've already been to verify. We can also just create a ticket right away here if we want, like I said, if, if you want something, uh, you know, try to get a little more, a um, little quicker response time, I'm going to go ahead and click create ticket. Now that the ticket is created, you'll see a new channel open up here and uh, we can go ahead and chat with our support team or myself and see there you notice Big Ten logo um, right next to my name. The site issues channel, I just try to update this and post whenever we're aware of something um, that's an issue, just so you know the rest of the channels don't get bogged down with people asking the same questions. So now if we move down to general, um, general chat is pretty is pretty self-explanatory. Um, if something doesn't really like fit anywhere, you can go ahead and you know, just type it in general channel. I try to spend a good amount of time in the general chat, whereas our staff writers and analysts spend more time um, in the more specific channels. As I mentioned, we also host trivia um, with giveaways, super fun. Um, you can do it from your mobile device or from desktop, from your app, anything like that. So I'll try, I always announce both in the games channel um, as well in announcements. So uh, just be on the lookout for that. Do some giveaways from time to time. Talk about underdog fantasy here, any of their contests. Uh, if you're in Scott Fishbowl, we have a chat for that. And whether it be cardboard, NFTs, collectibles, anything like that, um, we had to have a dedicated channel. Also, Jules is awesome, always in the hobby channel. So we we really try to have something for everyone. Down here, the NFL Premium channel, um, just sort of, a, this is, again, this is only if you are an NFL Premium subscriber. Um, other than that, it's closed off to everyone else. If you want to talk DFS, if you want to talk betting, uh, and certainly from time to time, people will hold uh, premium only office hours as well. Same thing for season long, although just try to make it organized a little bit more. Um, NFL Standard, General Chat, if you want to talk Dynasty, Waiver Wire, office hours, best ball, high stakes, IDP, injury. And then again, if you're a college football subscriber, you have access to the college football channel and uh, college football chat as well. DFS, if you're in CFF leagues, W leagues, betting, um, the Bulls channel will certainly heat up um, once December runs around. But one final item on the agenda, um, and it's a pretty important one, sending questions and messages for the Sunday Final Point Show with Joe Dolan and Tom Brawley. So in the past, uh, we had a dedicated chat box embedded in the media player, but that's not the case anymore. All the questions for the guys will be in the channel right here titled The Final Points. You'll notice I can't type anything right here. It says you do not have permission to send messages in this channel. That's okay. That's because this channel is read only at all times, except during the show. So the abilities to send messages and questions to the guys will open up at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, and we disable messages around 12.05, 12.10, 12.15, depending on um, volume. Now, you might be thinking, oh, I have to toggle between an app and the video. That's not the case at all. Um, our new media player, which I'll show you now, has a great pop-out function so you can watch while typing your question, browsing other areas of Discord, um, or even setting your lineup. So for instance, if I'm over here, if I'm browsing the site and if I'm trying to um, browse Discord or ask questions, 
what I'm going to do actually, since we're not live right now, I'm going to go ahead and click on past shows for final points. I'm going to watch the week two show. So show is starting right now. Let's mute this for now. But once I go ahead and click this little icon right here, that's going to pop out. I can head right back over to Discord. Make this bigger if I want. Ask questions. It doesn't even have to be in the Final Points channel. I can go ahead and browse elsewhere, um, and that will that will stay live. So it really is super convenient. It's honestly just another reason to join um, Discord. But again, this channel is open to messaging every Sunday between 11.30 a.m. and 12.10 or 12.15 p.m. After that, the channel is closed to messaging, and it'll be scrubbed later on uh, in preparation for the following week. I certainly hope this has helped you, whether you're a first-time Discord user, if you've only been in a few times, or if you're a subscriber just needing more information on chat and shows. If all else fails, open up a support ticket in the hashtag create ticket channel, or you can DM me directly, although the ticket route will likely have a quicker response as we have a few people on hand to handle the tickets. So good luck for the rest of the season, and thanks for supporting FantasyPoints.com.